Hey yo, what's going on China Mac TV? It's your boy China Mac. And right now I'm in Staten Island. I know y'all probably wondering, Mac, what the hell you doing in Staten Island? Turn the camera right here. Bow. What's good, yo? Yeah. Exactly. My brother met the man, we in Staten Island. I'm leaving to Cali, I'm yeah. leaving New York. You yeah, know what I mean? For, miss you too. for another chapter of my life. But before that, I wanted to just stop by and just like stop by to all the brothers that I hold dear. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And kind of, you know, get the get to know certain things about you that I might not know and also you know for my channel so this yes, is a sir. pleasure thank you for uh you know, always come this. through for you man New York ain't New York without Staten Island Sta yeah, Staten facts facts <laughs> stop right. right now we're standing in front of 185 this is the building chef grew up in um, chef who chef Raekwon the chef Ray you already chef. know Raekwon the yeah. chef uh this is his building right here matter of fact this where a lot of the, the ciphers went down that rhyming ciphers right here the, yeah in the staircase between the sixth floor and the roof that's where i got my mom made my bones at and shit. right in this yeah. building so hold on how, when did you start rapping it was what 11 12 11 12, 12 and everybody old. over here was like it, it was, was already nice with it at 11 12 years at old. 11 12 years old yes yes and i'm like damn man these niggas doing grown man shit that i would never think of doing that's what i want to do that shit you know what i mean the music was it just started calling me and shit right who was the nicest at that time capital capital was the nicest to, yeah we about to get to that we about to get to that yeah let's man, get it yeah 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 yes yeah, so i remember rizzo stopped me here to first talk about that wu-tang shit right here he was sitting right here talking to somebody Cause we used to chill here too a lot and shit. Uh -huh. Let's take let's take it down yeah. here. I remember down here. Now this is 160. Now this building here. Cat lived on this side. Deck lived on this side. A lot of people in 160, man. These is all projects right here. These aren't housing projects because these are privately owned and shit. Oh right. word. Where y'all shot cream at? Right here. We was in front of this building. Right in front of that building. And protect your neck. Right in front of this building. When I pointed protect to your the, neck was in front of this building when too. I pointed to the uh, thing. I was standing up on top of that thing. My boy Tone window right there. I was pointing at the 160. That's crazy. I used to sit off the top of these roofs right here. That was Dex's window right there. See the fire Inspected escape? Inspected Dex. Sixth floor. See the fire escape? Yeah. That was his mother's room. The room right next to it was his room. That's crazy. To see everything from that window and shit, you know? Damn. Who was the first Wu member that you met? Like, who was the first person first you had? First one I met, uh, probably... Like, not met, but like you had a relate. You had a... Chef. 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 Me and Chef used to walk home from school together and shit. What? Yeah, that was my so job. So, yeah, that was your first, like, that was your first friend at the group. How was Chef back in the days? Like, how... The same. Same. He was an old soul, always right. and shit, you know? <laughs> Chef was just mature beyond his years for years and shit, you know? Probably because he was the oldest. Was he was he rapping when you met him? Yeah, he yes, was he already was. rapping. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. But was I he think, better than you? Yeah, all of them was shit. I all wasn't, of them was I better than nah. I wasn't rhyming. What? And that shit came from Cap. You know what I'm talking about? All like, of it like, came. Well, from I Cap wouldn't say all of it came from Cap, but these niggas probably already had it. It's good. Them. But Cap, China Mac, that really was so my pain. What's that? Told you, you know? Yeah, I'm maintaining this shit. What's going on? Doing a quick little doc. Yeah, quick little. The China Mac. Letting them know, you know, where I started at, where I came from and shit. This shit here, this shit here, the yellow poles. We used to call these yellow poles because obviously, Pillars. yeah, they have poles here and yeah. shit, right? We used to stand next to this motherfucker right here and see who could jump on it. One leaf on top of this bitch. I used <laughs> to be able to clear that motherfucker. I don't know if I could do that shit now. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Right, this back here, this is where Rec Posse started at in the back of these buildings here and shit. So what, um, back in the days, this used to be like... This was a hustling spot right yeah, here. Everybody yeah, everybody used to be out here. Live, you know, you said real. Kappa, start with the rap. Kappa Donna. Ever since I knew that nigga, he was wrong. <coughs> you know what I mean? Ever and since, before everybody. Yeah, before how, everybody. How much older is he? Is he older? Kappa is two years older than me, I believe. Okay. And he used to win all the rap battles at the Park Villa. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, one year it was RZA, Jizza, and Old Dirty came to one. And niggas booed them niggas off stage. They was too cocky though. I ain't gonna what? lie. They was seriously too cocky and shit. And Kappa won that night and Jizz ain't like that shit. I think Jizz wanted to fight him that night. Word, Jess was very aggressive back in the day. Very <laughs> aggressive. But I remember a routine that they had there because old Dirty was beatboxing and he wasn't rhyming. And Rizzo was doing the rhymes and as they was rhyming, each Rizzo's, each word that Rizzo rhymed, Dirty would echo it, but still be beatboxing. That was their little routine and mm -hmm. shit. Still lost. Kappa won that one too. Kappa won. Kappa won. Kappa won, one Kappa won every last one of them rap battles yeah. at the Park Villa. Why? Why, why, why wasn't Kappa like in part of the original crew? Cap was locked up. Well, Cap got locked up. Yeah, it was fucked but up. But he would have been. I mean, it was a fucked up situation because Cap know how it is out here when you in a drug area. Mm -hmm. If you, I don't give a fuck if you live here. If cops is rushing, run, nigga, run. 
this tree right here I was talking about, this right here, at night, that's probably why they put the gate up at night, I used to be standing right there next to this tree, and the cops can't see you for some reason. Them niggas cannot. That's the blind see spot. That. I mean, if like I stood that. next to that shit, they'd see my they ass. <laughs> I promise you, they wouldn't see you. I promise you, up in that, right there on the side of that motherfucker, they would drive by slow like this and wouldn't see shit. It's Whoa. really like, I hate to say it, divided still. Right. Because it's so small, it's a lot of friction. Right. I mean, and that's what everywhere though it seems yeah. like people just can't. But y'all got a subway system, man. Right, this so. Was, which window was Chef Mom's window up here? Chef Mom, Chef, right? Yeah, because she used to do plates. She used to do plates and shit. And I remember, I think it was one of these windows here, one of these three. I tell you what, boy, I knew his mother ain't play because Chef ain't let nothing. What's up, Rocky? Wow. Salute, salute. That's Kappa Sister. Oh, Lord, that's Kappa Sister? That's yeah. fire. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, back to I didn't know Kappa was that dude out here with the rap and yes, shit. Yes, huh? he was. Um, he just was focused from day one and shit. Uh huh. And it inspired me a lot. To stay on my pin game, you know. It was like I wanted to impress him when I wrote my shit. Cause I knew if I impressed him, my shit was right. My wife almost got killed in this park. Right here. <laughs> I ain't laughing. 225. I used to live in this building too. Right. You got baby mother. Young Intel. Well, how, how was you got like, what was his? Did he, you go was always he was a fly rapping? ass nigga. He was a beatbox. He was a beatbox. How was many real, people were real beatboxing? prevalent? It was prevalent because, really? because, you know, it was either that or we had to beat on the wall. Mm. Now you beating on the wall, that's a whole different ball game because then now people in the building gonna call the cops on you. Mm. But if you beatbox it, it's like, okay, somebody playing their music too mm. loud. If you had a beatbox, you rhyming all night and shit. Now right. beatbox was RZB. My nigga Ricky Holmes. Our education came in that staircase, man. I was a young, I'm talking about 11, 12 years old. Right. I wasn't even smoking weed and shit, right. but I'm in there acting like I am and shit, yeah. right? These niggas is the same age as me, but they doing shit like grown folks, and I am amazed at this shit. Like, you got a nigga in here sound better than Slick Rick right now and shit, when Slick was hot. Mm -hmm. Got a nigga in here sound better than fucking Dougie Fresh right now on the beat bop. And I wanted a part of that shit, and I, and I made sure that at one point in time, when I came in that staircase, I was gonna have a rhyme, mm. at least one. Mm. And the first rhyme I wrote was with Ray Corn the chef. The first rhyme you wrote was with Ray Corn. Yeah, called I'm on a mission. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was cold too. It was a cold. You remember it? Some of it. Some of it and shit. I was basically biting LL Cool J style because LL was the man. That was right. his first album, Radio. I think mm -hmm. was the name of the first album and shit. He's standing on the back cover. He had the all black on with the the original Jordan Breads. That was our Messiah in hip hop right there. Right. Everybody was rhyming like that nigga because he had this certain rhyme pattern where it was like he would have the rhyming word, but he would have two rhyming words in between before he get to the rhyming word. Something like um something I'm roaming in the dawn. <laughs> Going to something to stat. I'm rhyming and designing with your girl on my lap. See how that da 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 he, he, he started that shit and that's how I patted my, my first rhyme and mm -hmm. shit. So it's I'm on a mission, don't get up because I'm taking no shorts. I shoot a cap and it's like that and I will give it no thought. Mm -hmm. Ugly girl is rhyming away to try to get that rap. Don't try to riff. My name is Cliff. I'll put you out on your back. I even have a rhyme name then. My name is Cliff. Still. For all you suckers out there that's playing this off, the GBK gets busy but never gets lost. And that was the name of the crew, GBK, Get Busy Crew and shit. Wow. And Cap would not let me down. I wouldn't have let me down either, because I wasn't ready. By the time he met me and shit, me and him got real tight. And like I said, that had me pushing my pen in a mm. whole different light. If Cap came in the staircase, it was like Drake showed up to a random fucking show and spit yeah, real fast. That's crazy. That's how it was with Cat. Cat wasn't in them staircases like that. When Cat popped up in that motherfucker staircase, found I found out a lot of them niggas in that staircase that was rhyming was using his rhymes. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah. 